Mine's not even starting yet. What's going on with this? Yeah, oh, there we go. All right. We are going on another ride, but this time it's just me and E-Rock. Uh, we are going to be scoping out the New Brunswick area because um, he's got a plan. He's the uh, ringleader on this. He's looking to do a group ride in the Middlesex County area. Uh, man, look at the sun. It's like all over here. Man, I didn't bring sunglasses either. We're in New Brunswick and we're going on a ride just to scope out the area and see what kind of uh, group ride we could put together. Um, like I said, E-Rock Rods is heading this up. So he's actually got the route and I'm just accompanying him. And now we're gonna go for a ride. It's a beautiful day, gotta take advantage of it. So we'll see you there. So, so you, when you hear it, when you have to uh, sync them, you, you look for that clap. Yeah, it was hard to sync your footage with my <laughs> with my GoPro stuff. I was like, yeah, it wasn't even perfect. Cue, like a visual and an audio cue that goes together to, to sync it. Ah, yeah, okay. So I always clap at the beginning of my videos. All right. Ready? I thought you were clapping because you saw me. <laughs> well, that's too. <laughs> out here with E-Rock. I hope the mic picks it up because I don't have the uh, helmet mount on. I've got the GoPro on my backpack. So if, if the audio sucks, I apologize. I uh, wasn't thinking when I packed everything up. But it's a Tuesday evening and we're going, we're going around, going around New Brunswick and we're gonna figure out a route to take you guys on. Uh, like I said, E-Rock Rods is uh, headlining this. He's got some routes planned and uh, I know it's gonna be a good ride. And then we're gonna let you guys know when we're gonna put that together. Right now we're in, I can't even pronounce this park. It starts with a B, I'll link it down below. But uh, I've never been to this park, it looks pretty cool. Brunswick is home of Rutgers University, uh, the main campus, and uh, there's a lot of restaurants. So after this ride, we're definitely gonna grab some snacks Cause you know how E Travel Roll does. You gotta eat. After this ride, I'm gonna have to change out my brake pads. I didn't go during rush hour last time, so. Uh, that's it all good. It wasn't busy like this. Like Kinda that. works out too. That way we don't have to go super fast for now. A lot of traffic. But you know what? Works out for us. Shout out to E-Rock Rise, man. He's doing his thing. He's making things happen. I know we've talked about it, but he's actually making the things happen. I'm glad uh, we're bringing the group rides closer to us. Don't get me wrong, I have a lot of fun in New York, a lot of fun in Jersey City, but sometimes you just want something local, you know? It took me literally uh, 15 minutes to drive from my house over here. That's real nice to, to be able to to plan something and have it local to us because that's an all day thing going to these group rides you know they usually don't start till if it's on a weekend they normally don't start till noon and then you're doing like three four five sometimes even five hours of riding by then you know the weekend shot and if you have kids and everything you know you feel kind of guilty for for spending the day riding bikes with the boys and your kids are at home you know I mean, I'm sure your spouse will take them out and do stuff, but I always want to be part of that too. But having a, uh, a person to, to put together something local is awesome. So shout out E-Rock Rods. 
and you're almost out at that thousand mark man let's get e rock rods up to a thousand a thousand subs oh look at the deer here name of this park is Bucano. i don't know there it is. <laughs> That's awesome. Huzzah. I just wanted to see where this went. All right, no problem. It's a nice park, man. I've never been here. Yeah. It's a, uh, what's it called? Uh, Rutgers Stadium is like right there, right there. Is it? Yeah. If you, if you, if we made a left on River Road, it's, it's literally right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, I just wanted to see where this led, if there was another like way around, but I don't want to go on the bike path, so. We're just gonna cut through straight to Johnson Park all the way to like 27. Okay. So this road is like where, where you could open it up because no cars go here. Yeah. So right along here is, I believe, the Delaware River. I could be wrong. Raritan. I think it's the Raritan River. Um, I could be wrong about that too. I don't know. I'm not, I don't make a very good tour guide. So correct me if I'm wrong. Put it down in the comments what river this is in New Brunswick that cuts through. And this park is pretty big. It's a lot of space in this park. Now does Johnson Park connect to this? What was that? Does Johnson Park connect to this? Johnson Park, yeah. Oh, this is Johnson, Johnson park. park. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I guess it does connect. Yeah, no cars ever drive here unless they're going to the park. So ah, oh, nice. Nice, nice. Huh. It's pretty cool. An outlet over there. There's a small outlet over there. People have to charge, I saw. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, everywhere I went, I just kept looking for, like, outlets. Just in case. Yeah, that's important now, man. Especially after that last ride. Yeah. So we are in Johnson Park. So they did connect Johnson Park and that other park. I can't pronounce it. Um, but it starts with a B and it's in New Brunswick, so. So from the park, I think we're headed down into downtown New Brunswick. And we're gonna grab a bite to eat. Uh, there's a ton of food out there. Uh, anything you want. A lot of uh, sub shops, a lot of uh, ethnic cuisine. If you went to Rutgers or new people who went to, actually, if you're just from Jersey and you grew up in the 90s, 2000s, you knew Rutgers had what were called the grease trucks. Uh, this is way before, you know, um, the food trucks were, were uh, a thing. Uh, they had the grease trucks where you could get these fat sandwiches. And uh, I, I believe they don't have these trucks anymore. However, there are some places that still serve these fat sandwiches. But as far as the originators, the trucks and everything, I don't believe they're there anymore. Um, but there are spots that still serve the fat sandwiches. Now, if you don't know what a fat sandwich is, uh, they basically just think of a college kid's appetite and then throw it all into a sandwich. It, it's basically that you had your basically they could have anything from from cheesesteak to mozzarella sticks to chicken fingers, combination of all three um, French fries, onion rings. Uh, there was, ooh, right. there was a ton of stuff they used to stuff in there. That's why they were called fast sandwiches. And and people would go, even if you didn't go to New Brunswick, you knew about the grease trucks, and you would go there just for the sandwiches. Uh, I don't know what happened to those grease trucks. I, I could be wrong, you know. I don't hang out at Rutgers anymore. But from what I heard, all those trucks are gone. Um, so you're gonna have to find them at some of these, uh, you know, eateries. Uh, around campus uh, I don't know if it was a permit thing or what but that's what they were known for and I could actually do one of them right now just talking about it uh, so, at some point I want to explore like that this side okay uh, we'll, we'll just head back towards New Brunswick so this is basically 27 the bridge across yep so if you want you could stay in the side I think there's a bike path but um, I was gonna go on the street Okay. So it's up to you. Yeah, what's the speed limit there? Because I don't want to hold anybody up if there is. I mean, if it's both of us, we could just ride together. Okay. Ride slow together. Yep. Yeah, I believe 
wife won't make the way. Yeah, because we just got to get over the bridge, yeah, right? Yeah. All right. Once we get over, we're back in New Brunswick, so. Okay. All right, so taking the bridge over to New Brunswick and um, hopefully not get any uh, any cars beeping at us. Well, at me because he's got the, he can flow with traffic. We're in the New Brunswick area that I know. This is near the college. Yeah, the white lane on the right side right here. What in the on the sidewall right here? Okay, I'll get there. Alright, so now we got a bike lane so we are not impeding traffic. Even though this car on my left is still slowing down, pacing me. Oh, look at that train station so anybody coming from the city coming out to uh coming out to these group rides there's a uh, new jersey transit i don't know the rules so i don't know if you can bring your bike on i think you can don't quote me on that but i think you can i remember coming through here as a kid actually i'm kind of excited for this i feel like this is going to be a good ride i've always wanted to explore this and uh e-rock has definitely um taken the lead on this but uh, yeah this is definitely a, a spot i wanted to check out and i uh, just wanted to do it with somebody and there you go yeah so depending on the time of the day there's going to be like a lot of college kids hooking yeah. or traffic so well, the group ride would probably be on a weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like for, for like a big one. Yeah. But I'm trying to also see if like uh, just smaller groups want to meet up like uh, in the evening. <laughs> yeah, if you want to do a, a evening ride, for sure. Just, you know, as long as my schedule, you know, is okay with it, yeah. I'm down for it. I don't know the estimated distance of this uh, ride that he's planning, uh, but we'll make sure to let everybody know that way they have ample uh, either battery or, or accommodations. I know he's been looking at chargers everywhere. So there's, there's gonna be spots where we can stop and charge up. Um, he's already scoped out a few spots for that. So if when this uh, ride does happen, bring a charger, bring extra battery, uh, shouldn't be that long, but you never know. If they're a good ride, we could just keep going. But like I said, e rock has got that, uh, a few spots to charge. Hey. <laughs> Thanks. There's outlets. We don't know if they work, but there's outlets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they got a Panera Bread on campus. Look at that. What's up? College app? College app, yeah. Ah. I don't want to fly around the cars because I feel like it's going to be like... Somebody walking through, yeah. Walking. No, this is actually good. I get to look around because I've, you know... Shoot, this might be a ride I'd want to um, take my daughter on. So yeah. take her on the electric, uh, the electric XP and show her to campus. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's not a, a fast ride for the most part except for that one street. Yeah. Thing. No, this is chill. I like this. Yeah. In a group, 
in a group setting, like a big group, this would probably be a pain in the butt. Yeah. But like a small group, this is this is chill. I like this. Yeah. That's why I want to try to like if I do like the evening rides, just just like whoever's available. Yeah. You know, um, I think if you um, put them out like maybe uh, a couple of days or maybe a week in advance if you can. Yeah. That way people can you know. Like whoever's like, available. Yeah. Just come just come out. But like I, I wanted to like, do like that like a bi-weekly thing if I can. Yeah. Yeah. There's plenty to do. I mean, ride around the campus and then eat downtown. Yeah. You know, there's plenty yeah. of places to eat. There's a lot of places to eat. Um, Hamilton Street or uh, like on the on downtown side. That, the downtown side is the more expensive side. Oh, this is, is like it? The, this is like the college side to eat. Now they don't have the fat, the grease trucks anymore, huh? No. No. That's, well, at least not where they used to be before. They moved somewhere else. I don't know where it is now. Ah. Uh, you yeah, would think it'd be. Best. It'd be more popular because they were the first food trucks that were like a, a thing, you know? Yeah. Before, before like roach coaches were a thing, but the Greek, what's up? The that, grease trucks. the best place to like to park and eat. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Do they still have the grease trucks here? Huh? Do they still have the grease trucks? They don't have, uh, they do have a couple of grease trucks. I don't know where they are or when they are, but Archie Hungry's right there, it's the same thing. Oh, really? Oh, uh, they have fast sure. sandwiches sure. and everything? Okay. It's literally on that corner right there. Yeah, fat oh, sandwiches. Cool. Uh, are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah, I'll follow you. Uh, mm, smells good right around here. So when we do this ride, it's uh, more than likely going to be on a weekend, so it won't be as busy. But I do caution everybody, you know, it's a college town. You're going to have college kids all around. So just uh, be careful. Right. Yep. Thanks. Here you go. Are you hungry? So they got fast sandwiches in here. You got El Jefe's Taqueria. Oh, look at this. Damn, this is fancy. This whole thing is new. I, I've never been. Wow. Here. That's pretty cool, man. This whole whatever it is. I'm just going to peek inside. Yeah. I'll wait here for you. So this area right here is... Uh, Kind of like a, a little center court food area. Um, looks like you got lockers here. Saw Starbucks. Yeah, let me check it out too. This is actually kind of cool looking. I, I want to take a look. Let's see, we got, we got a barbershop on this campus. Wow, look at that. We should, we should all just Starbucks. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Holocaust isn't bad. Makes me wish I was a uh, college kid. I guess he's collecting the batteries to charge them up. This is cool. And hey, this is probably a, a stop we could, you think they're probably open on the weekends, huh? Yeah, I'm sure. So we could probably stop here at this point. Yeah. I don't know if we could bring these in, but... It's pretty open. I don't see why not. Just as long as we don't like block things off, maybe. Yeah, as long as nobody's uh, being crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, but I think a lot of this is like Rutgers own too, so I don't know how... Uh... I think it's opened up in the front there, right? Yeah, yeah. If we, if we were to come from Livingston, uh, I mean, uh, College Ave. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... We will, uh, let's go downtown. Alright. We'll go downtown side. Alright, so that's, uh, one, one possibility for a stop. Yeah, this is, uh, Hamilton. So this whole road, like, all the, it will lead back to where we, where we came from. Okay. At the park. But it's got, like, all that college street uh, down, this, down this road. Or not Hamilton, Easton, sorry. Easton is this. Okay, this is where, like, Mamoons and everything is, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the strip with all the food. So we're gonna go check it out, see what's uh, available around here. Here's my moons right here. Speak of the devil.
made a pit stop. Uh, I was talking about those fat sandwiches on the ride and uh, we did get a suggestion from a guy on a motorcycle who uh, told us about Are You Hungry? And they have the fat sandwiches here. So we're gonna go check that out. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna get, but it's gonna be something good. Something heart stopping probably. Yeah. All right, let's try it. <laughs> All right, so we stopped at Are You Hungry to try out some fat sandwiches that used to be at the grease trucks over here in uh, New Brunswick. Uh, so I had to get the original fat Filipino. That was my favorite. And the fat cat is the actual original, original fat sandwich. It's been a while since I had one of these. Let's see uh, if they still hold up to um, what they used to be. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't get any B-roll. Uh, I was told not to film in there. You gotta respect the establishment's rules, but all right. So the hey, she didn't know it was it's the uh, <laughs> the guy who told me not to record. Now he's waving hi. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I guess but, you're okay outside. Yeah. Just not inside. Right, let's see what what's in the fat Filipino. There's there was so many options, um, so many fat sandwiches. It was uh, kind of overwhelming. Uh, so I had to stick with the original. Uh, fat Filipino, let's see, we've is cheesesteak, gyro, chicken fingers, mozzarella sticks, lettuce, tomato, french fries, and tzatziki sauce. And then the fat cat, we got a double cheeseburger, lettuce, tomato, french fries. Oh, it's just a, basically a double cheeseburger uh, on steroids. But yeah, I am hungry and I am excited. Haven't had one of these since uh, in my college age years. Ah, oh, tzatziki sauce is good. All right, some fat Filipino, let's get in. Oh man, I wish they would've cut it in the middle so I could split it open, but. Here you go, you got the tzatziki sauce, the french fries up top, gyro meat, chicken fingers are right here. I don't know if how I'm gonna unhinge my jaw for this, but we're gonna try. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. And that was just gyro meat with fries and um, tzatziki sauce. Oh, that shit was good. Could be that I haven't had it in a long time, but this is hitting the spot, man. Uh, I was going to feel guilty eating this, but right now, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. You rock, you don't have to be quiet, man. You can, be, you can talk. Oh, I thought, I thought you were doing <laughs> your me. thing. It makes me feel more comfortable filming with somebody else talking to me. I thought you made it silent. Mm -mm. I, I, I always thought that you have to have your kids uh, quiet when you're doing your things. <laughs> so, what'd you get? Uh, fat, fat mom. Fat mom. Ooh, ooh, cheese steak. Right. Cheese steak, bacon, eggs. You can't really see it, but it's like breakfast in a uh, cheese steak. I'll tell you what, whoever invented the fat sandwiches, I'm sure it was a college kid who said, you know, I just throw everything, throw everything in there. Yeah. yeah, put everything in there. Look at all that meat. They're definitely not stingy. That's why they're fat sandwiches. Look at this. So you're not just getting fillers. You're getting meat. You're getting all the good stuff in there. Oh, man, this is good. This brings me back to my college days. Holy cow. Yeah, right? It's crazy. Like, right away. Like I said, I never attended Rutgers University, but I had friends who did, and we used to come out here and hang out, party. Yeah, these sandwiches hit. Oh, mm. man, this is good. Now, if I get your reaction. <laughs> so, we got E Rock with the uh, Fat Mom. This thing is amazing. It's breakfast cheesesteak, basically. Breakfast cheesesteak. Mmm. Look at this. Look at all that. I told you, not stingy here. Guys, right, when we have this group ride, if, <laughs> if anything, just come out for the food. Mm -hmm. Come out and just hang out and eat. I think that's going to be part of it. Yeah, perfect. Ride. And then just eat at 
different spots. There's so many spots out here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be this spot. There's just a plethora of uh, different restaurants and eateries. Yeah, right next door, there's Taqueria. Yep, right here. Yeah, El Jefe's Taqueria, right next to Are You Hungry? And on the other side of this, uh, I wouldn't say other side, but inside that little complex that we saw earlier, we got more food stalls, or mm -hmm. food restaurants. Mm. This is good. Regular fat cat? Regular fat cat. Mm. Your double cheese burger. That's like the original. Fat yeah. Cat, yeah. Like I said, I couldn't um, choose. So I just like, revert to what I used to always get. I don't want to get too full yet because we still got to try the fat cat. So we're going to wrap this one up. Oh, man. All right, so round two, we are going to be trying the fat cat, the original fat sandwich. It's basically a souped up double cheeseburger. Uh, you can't, it looks exactly like the last sandwich, but this one's a double cheeseburger, lettuce, tomato, onions, um, fries on top. I don't remember if there's mozzarella sticks in there, but who knows? Yeah, you need to cut it in half to get the... I know. Fat cat. Mm. Oh, man. That was really good. I think I like that better than the um, fat Filipino, to be honest. Really? And I like jar meat. Mm. Oh my god, I think this is the one. This is my pick. Alright, this is going to be the last bite, guys, because uh, I had the equivalent of one full sandwich, and I am stuffed. I mean, look, look at all that. All the fries, meat. Talking about carbon up. All right, so we just finished up these sandwiches. Well, we didn't finish them, obviously, but um, we'll take them home to the family. And uh, we're going to call this a ride. Thanks to E-Rock Rods for uh, taking me around New Brunswick. And uh, you guys look out for the uh, group ride. The announcement will be on NJ PEV group on rides. group rides. Yeah. I always <laughs> mess that up on uh, Facebook. So if you're not following, follow. All right, we'll see you guys later.